In this module, we will learn about similar figures and triangles. Looking around, we see many objects which are of the same shape but of same or different sizes. For example, leaves of a tree have almost the same shape but same or different sizes. Similarly, photographs of different sizes developed from the same negative are of same shape but different sizes. The model of a building and the building itself are of same shape but different sizes. You must have heard about the stamp size, passport size and postcard size photographs. All those objects which have the same shape but different sizes are called similar objects. Let's take examples of some similar objects. 1. Two line segments of the same length are congruent but of different lengths are similar. 2. Two circles of the same radius are congruent but circles of different radii are similar. 3. Two equilateral triangles of different sides are similar. Now, we will talk about similar plane figures. In figure, the two pentagons seem to be of the same shape. We can see that angle A is equal to angle A dash, angle B is equal to angle B dash, angle C is equal to angle C dash, Angle D is equal to angle D dash and angle E is equal to angle E dash and AB upon A dash B dash is equal to BC upon B dash C dash is equal to CD upon C dash D dash is equal to DE upon D dash E dash is equal to EA upon E dash A dash. We say that the two pentagons are similar. Thus, we say that any two polygons with corresponding angles equal and corresponding sides proportional are similar. Even if one of the conditions does not hold, the polygons are not similar as in the case of a rectangle and square given in figure. Here, all the corresponding angles are equal but the corresponding sides are not proportional. Now let us learn about the similarity of triangles. Triangles are special type of polygons and therefore the conditions of similarity of polygons also hold for triangles. Thus, two triangles are similar if 1. Their corresponding angles are equal and 2. Their corresponding sides are proportional. We say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF and denoted by writing triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. The symbol stands for the phrase is similar to. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then by definition, angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, Angle C is equal to angle F and AB upon DE is equal to BC upon EF is equal to CA upon FD. 
In this module, we will learn about basic proportionality theorem. We state the basic proportionality theorem. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Let us prove the basic proportionality theorem. We are given a triangle ABC in which a line parallel to side BC intersects other two sides AB and AC at D and E respectively. We need to prove that AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. Let us perform a construction for the proof. Let us join BE and CD and then draw DN perpendicular to AC and EN perpendicular to AB. Starting the proof, now area of triangle ADE is equal to 1 upon 2 into base into height is equal to 1 upon 2 into AD into EN. Important point to note here is area of triangle ADE is denoted as area ADE. So, area ADE is equal to 1 upon 2 into AD into EN. Similarly, area BDE is equal to 1 upon 2 into DB into EN. Area ADE is equal to 1 upon 2 into AE into DM. And area DEC is equal to 1 upon 2 into EC into DM. Therefore, area ADE upon area BDE is equal to 1 upon 2 into AD into EN upon 1 upon 2 into DB into EN which gives AD upon DB. This is equation 1. And area ADE upon area DEC is equal to 1 upon 2 into AE into DM upon 1 upon 2 into EC into DM which gives AE upon EC. This is equation 2. Since triangle BDE and triangle DEC are on the same base DE and between the same parallels BC and DE. So area BDE is equal to area DEC. This is equation 3. Therefore, from 1, 2 and 3, we have AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. Let us take some examples for better understanding. In figure, DE is parallel to BC. If AD is equal to 3 cm, DB is equal to 5 cm and AE is equal to 6 cm, find AC. Let's solve this. Let EC is equal to X. DE is parallel to BC as given in problem. Therefore, AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC by BPT which implies 3 upon 5 is equal to 6 upon x. This gives 3x is equal to 30. Dividing throughout by 3, we get x is equal to 10. Therefore, EC is equal to 10 centimeters. And AC is equal to AE plus EC is equal to 6 plus 10 is equal to 16 centimeters. Let us do one more example. If a line intersects sides AB and AC of a triangle ABC at D and E respectively 
and is parallel to BC, prove that AD upon AB is equal to AE upon AC. It is given that DE is parallel to BC. So, AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC by basic proportionality theorem. Reversing the order, we get DB upon AD is equal to EC upon AE. Adding 1 to both sides, taking LCM we get DB plus AD upon AD is equal to EC plus AE upon AE. From the figure, this gives AD upon AD is equal to AC upon AE. Reversing the order again, we get AD upon AB is equal to AE upon AC. Hence proved. In this module, we will learn AAA, Angle 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 Criterion of Similarity of Triangles. We know two triangles are similar if 1. Their corresponding angles are equal and 2. Their corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion. Let us take an example. In triangle ABC and triangle PQR, if 1. Angle A is equal to angle P Angle B is equal to angle Q Angle C is equal to angle R and 2. AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to CA upon RP then the two triangles are similar. We say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR and denoted by writing triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. The symbol stands for the phrase is similar to. We shall show that if either of the two conditions is satisfied, then the other automatically holds in the case of triangles. Let's first state the criterion AAA or angle 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 criterion in the form of a theorem. The theorem states that if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion and hence the two triangles are similar. This criterion is referred to as the AAA angle 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 criterion of similarity of two triangles. We are given two triangles ABC and PQR such that angle A is equal to angle P angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R. We need to prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. For the proof, let us perform a construction. Cut PD is equal to AB and PE is equal to AC and join DE. Let us start the proof. So, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PDE by SAS congruence rule. As AB is equal to PD and AC is equal to PE by construction and angle A is equal to angle P, it is given. This gives angle B is equal to angle D is equal to angle Q. Therefore, DE is parallel to QR. As corresponding angles, angle D is equal to angle Q and angle E is equal to angle R. And by basic proportionality theorem, PD upon DQ is equal to PE upon ER. Reversing the order, we get DQ upon PD is equal to ER upon PE. Add 
adding one to both sides, we get DQ upon PD plus one is equal to ER upon PE plus one. By taking LCM, we get DQ plus PD upon PD is equal to ER plus PE upon PE. By adding the numerator, we get PQ upon PD is equal to PR upon PE. Reversing the order again, we have PD upon PQ is equal to PE upon PR. Since from construction, PD is equal to AB and PE is equal to AC. We get AB upon PQ is equal to CA upon PR. Similarly, AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. So, AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to CA upon RP. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR as the corresponding sides are proportional. It would be noted that if two angles of a triangle are respectively equal to two angles of another triangle, then by the angle sum property of a triangle, their third angles will also be equal. Therefore, AAA similarity criterion can also be stated as follows. If two angles of one triangle are respectively equal to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. This may be referred to as the AA similarity criterion for two triangles. Let us take an example for better understanding of this theorem. In figure, if AB is parallel to CD, prove that triangle AOB is similar to triangle DOC. Let us prove it. We are given that AB is parallel to CD. So, angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle C as they form a pair of alternate angles. Also, angle AOB is equal to angle DOC as they form pair of vertically opposite angles. Therefore, triangle AOB is similar to triangle DOC by AAA similarity criterion. SAS Side Angle Side Criterion of Similarity of Triangles In this module, we will learn about SAS Side Angle Side Criterion of Similarity of Triangles. The theorem states that if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. This criterion is referred to as the SAS Side Angle Side Similarity Criterion for two triangles. Let us perform an activity. Take a line AB is equal to 3 cm and at a point A, construct an angle of 60 degrees. Cut off AC is equal to 4.5 cm. Join BC. Now take PQ is equal to 6 cm. At point P, draw an angle of 60 degrees. And cut off PR is equal to 9 cm.
join qr measure angle b angle c angle q and angle r we shall find that angle b is equal to angle q and angle c is equal to angle r thus triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr thus we conclude that if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and the sides containing these angles are proportional the triangles are similar let us take an example for better understanding of the theorem in figure oa into ob is equal to oc into od show that angle a is equal to angle c and angle b is equal to angle d we are given that oa into ob is equal to oc into od so oa upon oc is equal to od upon ob this is equation 1 also angle aod is equal to angle cob as they are vertically opposite angles this is equation 2 therefore from equations 1 and 2 triangle aod is similar to triangle cob by sas similarity criterion so angle a is equal to angle c and angle d is equal to angle b as corresponding angles of similar triangles are equal areas of similar triangles in this module we will discuss areas of similar triangles we know in two similar triangles the ratio of their corresponding sides is the same do you think there is any relationship between the ratio of the areas of the triangles and the ratio of the corresponding sides keeping this in mind that area is measured in square units we can say that the ratio of areas is the square of the ratios of their corresponding sides this is indeed true and we shall prove it in the theorem the theorem states that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides we are given two triangles abc and pqr such that triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr we need to prove that area of abc upon area of pqr is equal to ab upon pq whole square is equal to bc upon qr whole square is equal to ca upon rp whole square let us perform a construction for finding the areas of the two triangles we draw altitudes am and pn of the triangles let us start the proof now area abc is equal to 1 upon 2 into bc into am and area pqr is equal to 1 upon 2 into qr into pn so area abc upon area pqr is equal to 1 upon 2 into bc into am upon 1 upon 2 into qr into pn is equal to bc into am upon qr into pn this is equation 1 now in triangle abm and triangle pqn angle b is equal to angle q as triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr and angle m is equal to angle n each is of 90 degrees so triangle abm is similar to triangle pqn by aa similarity criterion therefore 
ए एम अपॉन पी एन इज इक्वल टू ए बी अपॉन पी क्यू दिस इज इक्वेशन टू ऑल्सो ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर एज गिवेन सो ए बी अपॉन पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू बी सी अपॉन क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू सी ए अपॉन आर पी दिस इज नाउ इक्वेशन थ्री From equations one and three, we get area ABC upon area PQR is equal to AB upon PQ into AM upon PN. From equation two, we get area ABC upon area PQR is equal to AB upon PQ into AB upon PQ is equal to whole square of AB upon PQ. Now, using equation three. We get area of ABC upon area of PQR is equal to AB upon PQ whole square is equal to BC upon QR whole square is equal to CA upon RP whole square. Let us take some examples for better understanding of the use of this theorem. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR and their areas be respectively 121 square centimeters and 225 square centimeters. If PQ is equal to 22.5 centimeters, find AB. Let us solve this. It is given triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. From the theorem that we have just learned. Area ABC upon area PQR is equal to AB upon PQ whole square is equal to BC upon QR whole square is equal to CA upon RP whole square. We take area ABC upon area PQR is equal to AB upon PQ whole square. Here, area ABC is equal to 121 square centimeters. Area PQR is equal to 225 square centimeters and PQ is equal to 22.5 centimeters. Let AB is equal to x centimeters. Putting the values, we get 121 upon 225 is equal to x upon 22.5 whole square. Taking square root on both sides, we get 11 upon 15 is equal to x upon 22.5. This implies x is equal to 11 into 22.5 upon 15. This gives x is equal to 16.5 centimeters. So, AB is equal to 16.5 centimeters. Let us do one more example. In figure, the line segment XY is parallel to side AC of triangle ABC and it divides the triangle into two parts of equal areas. Find the ratio of AX upon AB. Solving this, we are given XY is parallel to AC. So, angle BXY is equal to angle A and angle BYX is equal to angle C. They are corresponding angles. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle XBY by AA similarity criterion. So, by the theorem, area ABC upon area XBY is equal to AB upon XB whole square. This is equation 1. Also, area ABC is equal to twice the area XBY as given. So, area ABC upon area XBY is equal to 2 upon 1. This is equation 2. Taking square root on both sides, we get AB upon XB is equal to under root 2 upon 1. Reversing the order, we get XB upon AB is equal to 1 upon under root 2. Subtracting both sides from 1, 
we get 1 minus xb upon ab is equal to 1 minus 1 upon under root 2. Taking LCM we get AB minus XB upon AB is equal to under root 2 minus 1 upon under root 2 is equal to 2 minus under root 2 upon 2. In this module, we will learn about Pythagoras theorem. Now, we shall prove the Pythagoras theorem using the concept of similarity of triangles. In proving this, we shall make use of a result related to similarity of two triangles formed by the perpendicular to the hypotenuse from the opposite vertex of the right triangle. We will use this concept in proving the theorem. If a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right triangle to the hypotenuse, then triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and to each other. Suppose, in triangle ABC, angle B is a right angle. BD is the perpendicular to the hypotenuse AC. Then, from our special concept, triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC and triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. So, triangle ADB is similar to triangle BDC. Let us state the Pythagoras theorem. In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. For this theorem, we are given a right angled triangle ABC, right angled at B. We need to prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Let us perform a construction for this proof. Draw BD perpendicular to AC. Starting the proof, we know that if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right triangle to the hypotenuse, then triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and to each other. So following from the property, triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC. So AD upon AB is equal to AB upon AC because the sides are proportional. This on cross multiplication gives AD into AC is equal to AB square. This is equation 1. Also, Triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. So, CD upon BC is equal to BC upon AC, which on cross multiplication gives CD into AC is equal to BC square. This is equation 2. Adding 1 and 2, we get AD into AC plus CD into AC is equal to AB square plus BC square. Taking AC common, we get AC into AD plus CD is equal to AB square plus BC square. This gives AC into AC is equal to AB square plus BC square. We get AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Hence proved. What about the converse of the Pythagoras theorem? We now prove the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. The theorem states that in a triangle, if square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, 
Then the angle opposite the first side is a right angle. For this theorem, we are given a triangle ABC in which AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. We need to prove that angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Let us perform a construction. Construct the triangle PQR right angled at Q such that PQ is equal to AB and QR is equal to BC. Let us start the proof. In triangle PQR, as angle Q is of 90 degrees, so by Pythagoras theorem, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. PR square is equal to AB square plus BC square as by construction PQ is equal to AB and QR is equal to BC. This is equation 1. But AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square as given. This is equation 2. From equations 1 and 2 we get AC is equal to PR. This is equation 3. Now, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, AB is equal to PQ by construction, BC is equal to QR by construction, AC is equal to PR proved in 3 above. So, Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by SSS congruence rule. Therefore, angle B is equal to angle Q by CPCT. But angle Q is equal to 90 degrees by construction. So, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Let us now take some examples to illustrate the use of these theorems. A ladder is placed against a wall such that its foot is at a distance of 2.5 meters from the wall and its top reaches a window 6 meters above the ground. Find the length of the ladder. Let's solve this. Let AB be the ladder and CA be the wall with the window at A. Also, BC is equal to 2.5 meters and CA is equal to 6 meters. From Pythagoras theorem, AB square is equal to BC square plus CA square. That means AB square is equal to 2.5 square plus 6 square which is equal to 42.25. Taking square root on both sides, we get AB is equal to 6.5. Thus, length of the ladder is 6.5 meters. Examples of Pythagoras Theorem Let us take an example. P and Q are points on the side CA and CB respectively of a triangle ABC right angle at C. Prove that AQ square plus BP square is equal to AB square plus PQ square. Let's see the solution. Given a triangle ABC in which angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees and P and Q are any points on AC and BC respectively, AQ, BP and PQ are joined. We have to prove that AQ square plus BP square is equal to AB square plus PQ square. Let's see the proof. In triangle ACQ, angle ACQ is equal to 90 degrees. So by Pythagoras theorem, AQ square is equal to AC square plus CQ square. Call this first. Similarly, in triangle PCB, angle PCB is equal to 90 degrees. Once again by Pythagoras theorem, PB square is equal to PC square plus BC square. Call this second. 
adding 1 and 2, we get AQ square plus PB square will be equal to AC square plus CQ square plus PC square plus BC square. Now in triangle ACB, angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. Call this fourth. In right triangle PCQ, PQ square is equal to PC square plus CQ square. Call this fifth. Adding fourth and fifth, we get AB square plus PQ square is equal to AC square plus BC square plus PC square plus CQ square. Now we can compare third and fourth and we can see in both the equation the right hand sides are the same. So the left hand sides become equal. So we get AQ square plus PB square is equal to AB square plus PQ square hence proved. Let's take the next example. In the figure, triangle ABC is an obtuse triangle obtuse angled at B. If AD is perpendicular to CB, prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square plus twice BC into BD. Let's see the solution. Triangle ADB is a right triangle right angled at point D. Therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, we will have AB square is equal to AD square plus DB square. Call this first. Now, triangle ADC is also a right angled triangle, right angled at point D. Therefore, again by Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. This implies AC square is equal to AD square plus in place of DC, we can write DB plus BC whole square. This implies AC square is equal to AD square, applying the formula of A plus B whole square, plus DB square plus BC square plus twice BC into BD. This implies AC square is equal to, combining AD square and DB square plus BC square plus twice BC into BD. This implies AC square is equal to From first we have AD square plus DB square is equal to AB square So in place of AD square plus DB square we can write AB square plus BC square plus twice BC into BD Let's take the next example In triangle PQR QM is perpendicular to PR and PR square minus PQ square is equal to QR square. Prove that QM square is equal to PM into MR. Let's solve this. In triangle PQR, it is given that PR square minus PQ square is equal to QR square. This implies taking PQ square to the other side, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. This implies by converse of Pythagoras theorem, triangle PQR is right angled triangle right angled at point Q. This implies angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 90 degrees. Also, angle 1 plus 2 is equal to 90 degrees because angle PMQ is equal to 90 degrees. Comparing the above two statements, we can say that angle 1 is equal to 3, Similarly, we can say angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Thus, in triangle PMQ and triangle QMR, angle 1 is equal to angle 3, angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Therefore, by AA similarity, triangle PMQ is similar to triangle QMR. This implies PM by QM is equal to MQ by MR. On cross multiplication, we get QM square is equal to PM into MR.